Bad choreography habits that I'm trying to correct. These are things that you see in movies all the time, and I've done it before too. So let's take a look at it. It is the classic bind. I cut at him, he blocks, and then he moves my sword. The problem with this is I'm just letting him do something to my sword. That's not really the way a bind actually works. First of all, if I'm cutting at him, my sword's probably gonna bounce off because there's a lot of power going in there. It's not gonna just stick there. And I'm also not just gonna let him do something to my sword. He can try and interrupt my action with a bind on the cut, but it's kind of messy and it's pretty open for him. This works a lot better on a thrust. If I thrust, he can block and then move it away. If we want extra credit, we can add this as an interruption. He thrusts, I would freeze, catch it, and then come back in. I'm moving away from the threat as I make the bind, and then I'm coming back in. It looks a lot more dynamic.